Alright guys, how's it going? It is Wednesday the 10th of January 2018 and you're watching CapTalk.tv Alright, so I've just seen this article there right, which says that Daniel Sturridge has offered himself to Inter Milan and I was just wondering what offered himself meant because I think that sounds a bit dodgy, you know what I'm saying? You know, in this fucking day and age you can't say anything, can you? You know, you... I saw on the, on the TV this morning, you know, one of the newsy magazine style TV things. They were talking about you know inappropriate behaviour, you know, like when a man touches a woman's knee, you know, whether he's flirting or not. I mean, don't get me wrong, guys. If he, if she says, "Oi, knock it off, fucking perv," right, or something, then he shouldn't do it again. We know that. But I mean, fuck me, you're not allowed to fucking do anything, say anything. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking terrible, isn't it? So the thought of hearing, like, Daniel Sturridge offering himself, yeah, it sounds like he's walked up to someone, you know, fucking with a long Mac on. You know what he's like with his clothes? He's trendy, fun, cunt, isn't he? Well, he thinks he is, right? Not as trendy as me, obs. And he stands there with, you know, with a long Mac on and goes, <sighs> exposes himself to Inter Milan. Because that's what I thought of when it said, Look, you love my videos, fuck off. You know what I'm trying to say. It doesn't sound right, does it? It doesn't sound right, and I was just wondering what you think we should do with Daniel Sturridge. Because I'd like to see the fucking back of him, to be honest. Well, not that I don't want to see his, the back of him. I'd like to see him leave the club, yeah, for sure. Um, biggest fucking waste of time ever, in my opinion. I mean, look, guys, you know, he could have been a good player. He's never fucking fit. He's always fucking. I'm, I'm fitter than him. You know, so the cut state of me. You know. Mm. One of them, one of them players that you know, had he been kept himself fit, free of injuries, it'd be, it could have been an amazing player. Well, it's not his fault, I don't think. I don't think so, anyway. But when we signed him, when we signed him, a lot of Liverpool fans were like, "Oh my God, what a good bit of business that is!" Was it fifteen million guys or something like that? Oh, amazing business! And it's like at the time it didn't sit right with me, and you probably remember that. Uh, and I was like, and I know my, my my opinion at the time was, mm, it's funny that our rival, you know, or, you know, rivals or whatever, have been happy to see him move on to other clubs, and you know, and he can come to us for this knockdown price. At the time, I remember thinking, why is that? You know, so uh, there you go. Mm. Let's hope, he, let's hope he goes. He clearly wants out. He, we know he wants out, yeah? You know he wants out, don't you? We know, we know he wants out. He wants out because he wants to go to World Cup with England. This is like his last chance and all that. So he wants to go in January, but Klopp says, no, no one's fucking going in January, although he's just allowed Coutinho to go, but we're talking fucking serious money. Um, he can go. Of course he can go. But it's whether some mug will pay the money, you know? So I, you know, I don't dislike um, Sturridge. I, you know, I think he's... He, he's, he's it's just disappointing. There you go. It's just disappointing. It's just been disappointing. That's it. You know. I hope the, if the lad does go, I hope he's a success. Honestly, I really do. I hope he can stay clear of like you know injuries and shit like that, and um, and can be a success. I, I'd like that, but I just don't think. I just don't think it's right, and I, I just think he should go. And I've been saying this for what feels like a fucking eternity. And I also think you're not going to like me for this. Um, you're, you're all like that now with popcorn. What's he gonna fucking say? No, you know it's nothing controversial. Uh, I just think that um, his attitude. I don't like his attitude at the club. So I just think he's a bit of a, you know. I think that you can. Uh, there's nothing wrong with having a laugh, right, and stuff like that. But some of the younger ones are impressionable, I think. And I think there's a time and a place, and that's my. Uh, that's all I'm saying. So anyway, I'm off. What? How do you offer yourself? Is it, is it like I don't know? Yeah, let, let's take it away from what I was, um, you know, uh, bantering about. Has he sent him an email or something? You know, is it a bit like that email I got through earlier today? You know, from the, some fucking someone offering me twenty eight million dollars. Guys, 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 guys. You know, I like to discuss things with you. I've got a flashing light. Look, here we go. You see it. Should we see what it is? Hang on a minute, what colour is that? It's blue, guys. It's blue. I'm out of colour coded, right? I can't say it, but blue's not going to be exciting, is all I'm going to say. Right, so look. Uh, email. Boring. Fucking Twitter, even more boring. No, I told you, didn't I? What did I tell you? You'll soon be working out my colour uh, scheme. 
you know when we um, if we ever go out for a pint and I put my phone on side and it's flashing a certain colour you'll be like oh we know who that is All right I'm off guys <laughs> oh there's a guy on here that comments in my videos every time I burp he, 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 he it's not nice it's not polite it's you know very immature and all that I get that but it must be, he's one of them blokes where if he hears someone burps I think it really makes him fucking want to give us something let's all do one collectively together then 